Well, someone with Alzheimer's sometimes can wander, and during the winter, it makes it even more dangerous. And joining us today, Mary Beth Trussell, of course, with the Alzheimer's Association, with some tips and to talk about this. So thanks for coming. Well, thank you. <coughs> okay, so this is one of the traits that some people with Alzheimer's have, is, is to wander? Yep, about 60% of people with Alzheimer's will wander at some point. They might do it once, or they might do it repeatedly. Okay, so sometimes... You really have to be careful because they, they like to do it more than once. Yep, definitely. Okay. And now that it's cold, we got to be, if it ever gets really cold. Right, yeah. It has been really cold, but you never know. So are there, are there like signs or things that you can look at to say, oh, I need to watch because they, they might walk out the door when I don't realize it. Yeah, so if, they're, if they, you know, start talking about, I need to go to work and they've been retired for years, or if they say, I want to go home, even though they're home, or, you know, they, they start, um, you know, not knowing where the bathroom is or not knowing where things are in the house that they should know. Those are all signs that, you know, that could possibly happen. Okay. All right. So if you know that, I mean, it's hard to watch someone on 24 seven. Yeah. Are there tips, things that you can do to, to kind of help you out and uh, peace of mind, really? Yeah. So definitely first, if you know, like if they're saying they need to go to work and they worked nights, for instance, you might be prepared that they, you know, are going to try to leave in the evening because that's when they would be going to work. So you kind of keep an eye on, on that. Um, you could also keep them busy throughout the day or, or during that time where they would typically want to leave, get them occupied, get them doing something else. Um, have them do, you know, small tasks like help hold laundry or do help with dishes or, you know, keep them occupied, get them, keep them tired so that when it comes time to the <laughs> evening that they'll be tired and then you can always get you know there's um security systems that you could put in place there are pads that you can put in case they wander while you're sleeping there's a pad that you can put by their bed so if they step on it, an alarm will go off you know there are things you can do to keep them in the house safely okay. all right yeah especially if you're really worried about that all right so mm -hmm. kind of prepare your home and then are there other prevention tips maybe for for people that you know to try to Make sure that they stay in, in the house? Yeah, definitely. To keep them in the house, you can always put the, um, you know, like take something dark, like a dark rug, and put it in front of the door because then it'll look like a hole. Like they won't recognize, they'll just see the contrast in color, so they won't want to go to the door. Okay. Or you can put the, move the deadbolt to where it's higher, where it's not eye level, so that they, you know, won't see it and be able to deadbolt it. So you're going to kind of try to keep them inside the house. Okay, all right. And you, you mentioned the cold in winter. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's never good to have this situation, but summertime seems a little bit better. It's not as but, scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it must be really scary with the winter months. So yep. are there extra things that maybe for the winter months that, that we can do? Or, you know, are there certain people we should call right away when this happens? Definitely have the neighbors be on alert. You know, if you live in a, in a little suburb or you live in an area where you have neighbors, then definitely keep them apprised of the situation. If they see them out, let that let tell them to let you know immediately. Um, if you can put, if they're still driving safely and they're able to drive, you know, put a GPS tracker on their car so that if they were to, you know, end up in a different town, you'd be able to find them easily. Um, you know, just kind of, you want to make sure that people are aware that they, you know, have dementia or they have Alzheimer's and that they shouldn't be without somebody All so right. that they can alert you. Right, yeah, because, yeah, it's not that we want to cage them in. Right, But right. it's just really for safety reasons. Yeah, yeah, you definitely just want to keep them inside and, you know, you don't have to, you know, you can put a simple d bell on the door so if the door opens, the bell goes off. You know, there's safe ways to keep them. You're not making them a prisoner in their home. You're doing right. it for their safety. Right, yeah, and if they do want to go outside, go with them, yes. right? I mean, there are yeah. things that you can still do outside, or yep. like you mentioned, driving, and they can still take them out during the day. Yep, I mean, you can still go outside and go for a walk, and, you know, it's good, actually, to go outside and get some fresh air, um, even in the winter. So, yeah, just do that. Just be with them, and, and try to avoid, you know, taking them to a mall or an airport, someplace where they could easily wander, and you could, you know, even if you just turn, you know how it is with small children, right, even, yeah, you turn your head exactly. for a second, and they can wander off. So, mm -hmm. try to avoid those kind of places. All right, very good. Um, uh, do they, is it usually happen at night or does it depend on the person? It, it just doesn't... depends on the person. Okay. You know, if they have sundowners and it's more typically at night, but if they, you know, always want to work in the morning, that's when they, it might, you know, ding in their mind that they should be going somewhere and they might try to leave in the morning. It's really hard to tell. Mm -hmm. All right. And I assume this is another one of those things where, like, support and tips to, to know you're doing the right thing because it's hard as a caretaker to get it, all this done. It is so hard. And like you said, you cannot watch them 24 hours a day. You do sleep at some point, you know, so hopefully. Yes. So you do need to make sure that you are getting support, getting people in to help. Yeah. Help is needed. Wow. All right. One of those situations to try to prevent and understand. Thanks for joining us Thank today. Thank you. All right. Don't go away. We'll take a look at the weather forecast next.